In our Easter series entitled Simply Jesus, we are blending together Jesus' journey to the cross with, in my opinion, the greatest book of the Bible, the book of Romans. Romans makes great changes to great people for God. Romans will prove to be the source of all, if not all, the world's greatest revivals. It had the greatest impact on some of the greatest men of God that have ever lived. It was Augustine in September of AD 386 said that he was reading the book of Romans when the light of God shone upon him. It was Martin Luther who was so convicted by the book of Romans and studying its teaching that he realized that faith came by faith alone who started the great reformation. It was John Wesley in 1738 who went to a small group Bible study on the book of Romans and there trusted in Christ as his savior. John Calvin said that it was the cornerstone of all of his theology. William Tyndale said this, no man can read it too often. And John Bunyan, he said he used it as a roadmap for his book, Pilgrim's Progress. If I had one book only, it would be the book of Romans. It has made more impact on the world than any other book that has ever been produced for mankind. Inside the Word of God, it probably contains the greatest truths. Why? Because it singularly points to Jesus. It points to our need for a Savior, but it points to Jesus and the Gospel. And Romans contains maybe the greatest verses in the Bible. And two of them are this in Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the Gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The focus of this book is the gospel and Jesus.